Hey guys, Jossie the Rookie Writer here. Just thought I'd send a message out to all of you that are new into writing and those that really want to be successful in writing your first book. I've been writing for the past eight months and it's been a beautiful journey. Not only have I grown with the topic that I am writing about, I've also grown individually as a person and I've also grown as a writer and I must say I'm really loving growing as a writer because you really learn and grasp from those challenging days and you, and you appreciate those breakthrough days and um, those breakthrough days are so rewarding and it's such a lovely feeling when you have those breakthrough days because it just makes you want to write more and more and it just you grow in confidence when you have those breakthrough days. So it's so important how you write to keep up the momentum of those breakthrough days. Now, we're not always going to have those breakthrough days because we've got life as well. And for me, um, you know, I work eight to five, so I can only usually write in the evenings or early hours of the morning before work or on weekends. And after a long day at work, dealing with people you know sometimes your energy can be a little bit off and knowing me I'm always so eager to write and then when I get home from a long day I sit down at my laptop and just everything goes blank and that's writer's block and that's okay and you can either there's two things that I would recommend you can either be like right I'm not leaving my desk until I've written 500 words because those 500 words you can always you know, um, the next day when you've got a better flow of writing, you can always go back into what you had written and t take from it. Usually when you have writer's block, your energy is a little bit off. So always be aware of that energy. You know, so that's why I would recommend that the following day is just going back to what you had written about and just take a few points, like why you had chosen to write about that, you know. What I do, and this is my favorite, is um, I sit there and I'm like, oh, you know, it's just not flowing, it's just not coming. And I'll try writing my 500 words. So um, what I usually do is I take a step back and I'll leave my study and I'll go into my lounge and I'll just sit there quietly and I'll just think about, I'll go back to the beginning of my book of why I really wanted to write this book. What do I want my readers to benefit from? When, when they read this book, you know, why is my book so important for my readers to hear? You know, and I'll go back to that and I'll think about it. And then I'll be like, right, Joss, the other day you left off from over here. And um, what is it that you really want to think about? And when I first started writing, I mind mapped. So I had the heading in a circle and then I started doing my chapters and you know, I really mind map what I wanted to write about. So I'll go back to that mind map and I'll go like, right. And then I'll meditate and I will um, just let it all go to the universe. And then I'll get on with my evening and I'll go and cook dinner or I'll, I'll go and do whatever. I'll relax. And I'm telling you, by the time my head touches that pillow, you know, when I go to sleep at night, these messages st just start channeling through. And... Um, very close friend of mine bought me a book to keep by my bedside table and I must admit buddy, buddy I'm running out of pages now um, so what I do is the minute those messages start cha channeling through I turn on my bedside light and I just start writing into that little book just little messages that are coming through and then the next day I have a breakthrough of writing and I really really love and appreciate those days and then what I do is I'll go back into my meditating and I'll just be so grateful about those messages that came through because you know my book is a it's a unique book and I am um, I really want my audience to benefit from what it is that I'm writing about all right guys um hope you have a fantastic Friday and um I wish you all the best during lockdown take care